and gentlemen, the, uh, the, the South Carolina primary is on Saturday, and the candidates are doing everything they can to get noticed. Now, Jeb Bush hasn't been doing too well in the primaries. He finished fourth in New Hampshire, but yesterday, it seemed like he'd finally changed his image and summed up his vision for America in a single tweet. Here's the tweet. It's a gun with his name on it. <laughs> and the caption just says, America. <laughs> Although he could have just captioned it, now will you like me? <laughs> I can't believe he has his name engraved on the gun. Although, to be fair, Jeb Bush like, looks like the type of person who puts his name on literally everything. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, he's got a label maker. If you look inside his fridge, you see, like, Jeb's Pepsi, <laughs> Jeb's cheese, keep off. <laughs> but, Jeb, here, here's a bit of advice. If you're running for president and you want to post a picture of guns, you do it the way Speaker of the House Paul Ryan did it. There's some guns. <laughs> There's some guns for you. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, Jeb's been making a lot of changes. Jeb's new gun-toting image it isn't the only change he's made, because after saying that he would never ditch his glasses, this week, Jeb appeared wearing contact lenses, and I have to say, the new look really suits his tougher image. <laughs> <laughs> Most people actually do look cooler without glasses. Jeb looks like a turtle who's lost his shell. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, is anyone else worried that Jeb got rid of his glasses the same week he got a gun? <laughs> it feels like someone's about to get shot. But Jeb's reinvention has left a really bad taste in everyone's mouth, particularly Hillary Clinton. Take a look at what happened at a recent campaign event. ...represent inmates... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ...representing... <coughs> Thank you, Hazel. <laughs> Thank you, Hazel. I mean, she's clearly not very well at that point. We, but we have more footage of her at another event, and I'm sorry to say, her cough has actually taken a turn for the worst. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I feel like we should explain... We should explain why she's barking like a dog, but, like, A, we don't have time, and B, it's just funnier if we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, with Jeb's waffling and Hillary's barking, it seems like running for president just drives you crazy. Now, luckily, Barack Obama is still talking sense. Here's what he said when asked if he thought Donald Trump could be president. I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. And the reason is because I have a lot of faith in the American people. Yes! <laughs> with faith in his citizens. You know, I trust everything this guy says. And I think they recognize that being president is a serious job. It's not hosting a talk show. <laughs> OK. Right, what? What? <laughs> Why was that the first job you mentioned? <laughs> as a non-serious job. Like, they, there's others, right? What about, like, clowns? Or <laughs> Elvis impersonators? Or the guy who DJs at the zoo? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, ho hosting a show isn't easy, Mr. President. Right? You dress up as a piñata on Cinco de Mayo <laughs> and have LL Cool J whack you with a bat and then tell me it isn't serious. <laughs> right, look at that. Can you do that? <laughs> I don't think so. Still bruised. Bruised like a peach.